HTML5 is on everyone's lips. Some see it as the future of application development. Qt WebKit is the module that provides HTML5 support for Qt. What this module does is to bring HTML5, the web, to Qt. It makes it possible to embed HTML5 content in your app, maybe in specific locations, or it makes it possible to do all your application logic in Qt and just use the, the view as the user interface. I think Qt5 is prepared for the future. Like people, they expect very soon that they can pin zoom, they can pan, they get the same smooth animation as they get on a tablet or a phone on the desktop computers. It has all the module, all the changes that people have asked for for a long time. And it's pretty easy to change from Qt4 to Qt5. We're still keeping everything we had in Qt4. So people that want to use that, people that are depending on it, they can continue doing so. We're not changing anything there. The only native cross-platform solution today is HTML5. If you want to make an application for the iOS, for Android, for Windows, it's possible for you to reuse those assets on Qt. You could do the whole application just as a web application, working on the cloud and just showing it with Qt WebKit. Or you can do something like a hybrid application where you do some of the parts in Qt, expose it to the web engine or to WebKit, and then do the interface on top. There's a lot of possibilities here. A lot of companies, a lot of people, they really want to move into this new market. They want to make things for tablet, for TVs, etc., connected devices. Now we're making that possible without sacrificing the compatibility with our old APIs. HTML5 and the web platform is always evolving. People always find out new ways to use it, and that is work for us. We need to make sure how that works. We need to figure out, can we do it in a better way? How can we implement that? What is right for our users? What is right for everyone? Of course I'm excited about it. I love WebKit, I love Qt, so yeah, what's not to be excited about?